Good evening. Thank you for stopping by Healing Conversations with Z. I'm Missouri BB, and I think I'm finally uh, getting back to myself. I'm over here shuffling, and the Empress card just popped out. Um, but this reading may not be about me. Um, but, you know, if you've been following me, um, I started a new job. Last week was crazy because I cut I was at one place of employment that was not in my mission and I moved toward my mission. And so this is the first full week that I've been in mission, which has really been nice. I mean it's been challenging because I'm doing something different, which is nice because I'm easily bored. Um and this is not boring at all, what I'm doing. Um, so I'm really excited about that. But I wanted to come on and do a reading. Oh, wow. I'm only going to pull five cards of this. And they're already coming out. And then I got another message. Wow. All right. We're going to keep those. I'm going to leave those there, but I didn't, the last time that I came on, I forgot to give my message of the day. And so, there's two messages, and today is the 7th. Well, anytime you come to this, it could be the um, message. The date really doesn't mean anything. Okay, for this message, to throw away an honest friend is as it were to throw your life away. Somebody needs to hear that message. I don't know what that's about. And let's see what's going on on this one. Replacing your outer shell. Many of us have been taught to be very intellectual and very active and to drive ourselves very hard. We may have a strongly developed intuition, but have not put it in charge. In fact, we may ignore it a lot of the time. We basically protect our sensitive, vulnerable feelings by erecting a tough outer shell. As we begin to use our inner strength and power to take care of ourselves, honor our need for relaxation, and protect our tender feelings, the outer shell melts away and leaves us open yet strong. And this affirmation is, I am strong and open. So that those messages in itself are for somebody. But let's get on with this, with this reading. So we have the Empress... These, oh, these are angels. Where's this deck? The, um, or at least the card, the book for this. Um, I like this deck. These are, this is the angel tarot. And you don't read them. I don't read them in reverse. I've seen them in reverse. I don't read them in reverse unless I'm told to read them in reverse. I'll say it that way. But anyway, here's this empress here. And it says, fertility and fruitfulness assures peace between married couples. Hmm. Or relationship. There's going to be some peace. Because she look like she's choking that snake. Who, if that snake is thinking he's going to get her. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, she she putting a stop to that. Hope making the peace. Um, and this is the son. And this restoration of life, protection from adverse, adverse adversaries, failures. Oh, wait. I don't have my glasses on. Rabies and wild beasts. Okay. The sun, but the sun is here. And whenever the empress is here, this is a new start. But there's going to be some light shed on it. And this is the fool, and it's going to allow a new beginning. And this this is an angel that's um, 
Well, he looked like he's some kind of creature. You all, you know, I resonate with the angels don't look like them little cute little things they be showing. They look all kind of ways. Um, aliens. But anyway, here's the fool. I'm just going to say it like that. Because I haven't pulled out my, my alien cards in a while. And I probably need to, but we'll get into that. I do talk about the spirits, and here's that deck, but I'm not using it today. Um, Nine of Cups, self fulfillment. You are, you are. This this empress is her own, is her own self fulfillment. She's shining the light on some things that's going to allow her to have a new abundant beginning. And then with that new abundant beginning, it's going to show her that she is emotionally fulfilled within herself. And this is after judgment from the divine. Now, on the bottom of this is Queen of Pentacles. So, so you're grounded as well. Whatever is going on, there's somebody that's grounded, which is pretty cool. Now, even though you have those things going on, there are some things you still need to um, release, and um, what, 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 what? Let me get it out of my mouth. Spirit, what do the collective need to um, release? Surrender to effortlessness. Stop pushing so hard. The art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river. Go with the flow. If you're the empress, you you know, the empress, things come to the empress. You don't have to go after it. You don't have to go enter it, after it. And you need to surrender from always thinking you need to be right. That's somebody that wants you, they, they want to get the last word. Don't, you know, you you messing up your, your blessing when you do that. Sometimes it's best for you to zip your lips and accept what's going on. Uh, what else? What's the next message for this collective? What's the next message? Once you do that, surrender to effortlessness. Oh, there we go. Service. You'll be able to be in service in your mission. You'll be in mission and money. You'll be making money. The Empress is out here. The Empress is very abundant. All my finances are now in divine order. Love itself knows my needs and is the source for all. I needn't cling or to gain or feel fear loss. Every need will be met through offering all to the divine. The Empress is out here. Empress is very abundant. Very. So don't be, don't be, don't create creative blocks. The Empress is very abundant within herself. Um, can I have enough message here, Spirit? This is pretty straightforward right here. Anything else with this message? Go the distance. And this is a 47, 7, 8, 9. This is an 11. Go the distance. You'll be fine. You can do it. Has mending on the bottom. So some of you may be mending a relationship, mending your own heart, mending something. What? I don't know. That's Everybody has their own situation going on um now i brought out my tree oracle i like this deck and actually what i've been called to do and i haven't done it yet i i didn't i put my i bought some new things to put my decks away because i got a lot of decks and i gotta find my tree cards because spring is coming and i normally bring out my tree oracle decks and um uh, Oracle and Tarot decks. But this one has been out for a while. Oh, here's the card. Linden. Linden. And this is some type of leaf, I think. But let me see first. Linden. Let 
let me find it. I've never pulled that card before, too, so that's pretty interesting. Oh, it's the trunk. You're healing. Somebody's healing something. So let me find what it means. And actually, it's pretty cool. You're at the end, so you're pretty much almost done. Peace. Lending means peace. And I'll tell you what kind of plant it is. Lindens are known as lime trees. Oh, wow. All parts of the tree are valuable from the inner bark, once used to make rope to the fragrant flowers, which are an important food for bumblebees. In ancient times, a linden marked the site of the local court of law. Mm. In Greek mythology, Phileria, the mother of the centaur Chiron, was transformed into a linden tree. In Norse and Germanic legend, the linden was the sacred tree of Phrygia, the mother goddess, and Freya, the mistress of the earth. A tea made from the flowers calms nerves and soothes digestive problems. So, yeah, you're healing something here. Peace. But let's tell you what it means. You are turning. You are finding life too hectic and demanding. Look for opportunities to be peaceful and quiet each day. Even if you can only snatch a minute or two here and there. Go outside and appreciate the beauty you find around you. So this is our emperor, empress energy. Empress energy. And like I said, you're healing. Some light is being shed on some things. So you can start over. And you'll know that you are your own self-fulfillment after receiving some type of judgment. So you need to surrender to the effortlessness because you're the empress. Every You don't have to chase it. It will come to you. And once you do that, you'll get into your service and money will come your way. You can go the distance. There's no need for you to feel like you can't do it. So you need to get into this energy of peace. You need to do that. Now, I'm going to pull a few um, of these um I'm going to pull a few cards from Kipper and go from there. Yeah, you're on a pathway. You need to continue on this pathway. Here, can I have a message? You are going to fall out. You're going through some changes. It's a relationship. The marriage card means relationship. It doesn't necessarily have to be a marriage. But it's some type of relationship. And somebody's getting is, uh, somebody doesn't want to be false. So that might be what this lending is about. Yeah. Anything else. In the distant horizons, there are some things going to be coming. The community knows about it. Well, you may need to go to the community to get the help. And something about an official person. And being the main female. So, wow. Um, I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to leave it. This is a short, short message for me. But I am back. Um, I don't know if I'm going to actually come on every night. But I'm going to try to come on at least every other night. Something like that. Um, I am starting back doing readings. Um, I've received emails asking me for readings. And I am going to start. Um, I responded to who I needed to respond to. Um, I just needed to make get my energy back to where it should be. be with me switching that other job and moving into my mission. It was kind of hectic for a moment and the reading wouldn't have been accurate um, because my energies were not at full force. Um, definitely, I will um, begin probably this weekend. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. um, I'll, I'll, let me slow down. 
by the weekend, I know for sure how, how I'm going to be feeling. I know I'll be back to myself. And so I will be reaching out to the individuals who have asked for readings. And then we will set times and days, you know, the date together for that. Um, if you would like a reading, you can send an email message to my um, healing conversations at gmail email address and we can move forward from there but i'm going to end this reading at this time and i will be back soon thank you all for stopping by healing conversations with z peace and good night